We're here at the Trend Micro office in Singapore. We're going to meet with Rick Ferguson, who is the VP for Global Security Research. Now he's going to talk to us about mobile security and show us how he can use his handphone to tap and hack into another person's handphone. Come, follow me. Hey Rick. Hey. How's it going? Thanks for coming. No problem. Come in. Okay, so two phones. Um, this one is running Android 4.1. I haven't exploited any vulnerabilities on this device at all. Um, so all, all that's happened is that the, the poor victim has downloaded an app from an app store. Um, let's say the app was pretending to be a camera that was going to increase the, the camera resolution to 4 trillion megapixels, um, and so they, they got the, the free camera app. Um, unfortunately, it, it's doing other things in the background that they're unaware of. Even if it's the most paranoid of, uh, of users, and they go and check, um, let's see, go and check the apps that are running on the device. Let's look for running apps. Here we go. You can see there's nothing suspicious actually running on that device at all right now. The other phone here is an iPhone, but to be honest, it could be anything. All I'm doing from here is sending SMSs. So I could even send this from the oldest Nokia in the world. It would still work. Um, so this phone is actually deeply compromised, but the user is entirely unaware of that. So if we simply send uh, a message to that phone that just says, this is your master. So it's gone from there. You'll notice there's no notification on this phone that any message has arrived. Um, I'm hoping that the mobile signal is good enough. Um, but what has happened is a balance just went down on that phone. So obviously if this was a contract phone, you wouldn't even get a message that the balance just went down. The reason the balance went down is because the phone sent me a reply. It says, I'm ready to serve you. So if we go into the messages on this device, there's been no messages received other than one from my UK service provider telling me that I'm abroad. But none of this, this is your master stuff, has been received because the malicious app is intercepting those text messages and, and making sure that it acts on them but doesn't display them to the end user. So now that we know we have control over that device, we can send other commands. So. Uh, for example, we could send, um, I could type upside down effectively, uh, uh, SMS spy enable. So send that command to the device. Again, no notification. If you look in the notifications, no notification that a message is received. Um, but now any incoming text message to this device will be intercepted, um, stored in a text file in local storage on that Android device. Let's say this phone belongs to a corporate executive um, and you've also compromised the PC as well, which is far more simple than compromising the mobile device. Or Justin Bieber for that matter. Or Justin Bieber even, could be anybody. And you know that uh, they have a very important meeting at 12 o'clock today and you'd like to know because you've read it in the calendar on the compromised PC and you'd like to know what happens in the meeting. So you can, having the phone under your control, um, simply send another command. This one says monitor now. And there's a number after it, so monitor now one. Um, that's just been received, so right now uh, the microphone on this device has just been activated and now it's recording everything that, that we say around the device. Again, completely invisible, and you know, even if we had the screen blacked out, any time any of these messages were received, nothing would happen with the device. The, the microphone is still active um, and still recording right now. There are other commands to um, activate the camera, take video footage, take photo stills. Uh, and so on. So if it comes to a point where I think, okay, I've got the information that I want from that phone right now, you know, I've, I've got a day's worth of text messages, I know there's been some phone calls, I turn the microphone on, I have a bunch of data, it's time for me to retrieve that data. I can simply send another command um, to the compromised device. Uh, if I can <laughs> remember upside down where the keys are. Um, it just says upload files. So now what the compromised device is doing is taking in this example, that one minute of audio data and anything else that, that was received at the time. Um, it w ah, so the message was just received. So now it's packaging it up into a zip file, uploading it to a website, and when it's done, it will send back uh, a text message to the controlling handset with a URL where we can simply go and download all of that stolen information. There you go. So you can see the balance has gone down again on that time. That's because it's just sent another text message. And this text message here says, uploaded, file download URL, file delete URL, um, and all of the stolen information has also automatically been deleted from this phone. So even if the victim were to go looking and say, I wonder what's, what files are on here, what's taking up this space, 
there won't be anything there, there's nothing to take up any space, so it keeps the victim unaware of what's been going on. So what we'll do now is we'll um, get a web browser up on, uh, on the laptop and go to this URL just to demonstrate that uh, this is not a lot of hocus pocus and it's the right audio of me talking just now. Okay, so we're going to go to that same URL. Uh, sendspace.com. Now, there's nothing illegal or bad about Sendspace. It's just a file where you can up, uh, a site where you can upload and download files. L C Y H N J. And if you like, we can leave this URL active for your uh, for your readers or viewers. And we'll go look in my downloads. There it is. And what have we got here? Activated, and now it's recording everything that, that we say around the device. And again, completely invisible. And you know, even if we had the screen black out, any time any of these messages were received, the same audio that we would the device, that, the that I was still active, yeah, you heard still earlier in the video, right? There are other commands to so, and that could include a text file of all the text messages that have been received on the device. It could include separate so, audio yeah, for each of the telephone calls, or, or um, video, or or anything else for that.